Hey there, welcome to the Fansaves Helps Shop Local series. I'm your co-host, Chris McCarthy, and today I have the pleasure of speaking to Trish Doherty, and she is the owner of the Kawartha store. Trish, how are you doing today? I'm really well, thanks. Thanks for having me, Chris. Absolutely, uh, so happy to feature the Kawartha store and talk about your business. So why don't we start there? Why don't you tell everyone listening uh, a little bit about your background and also about the Kawartha store and what you guys sell and what you guys do there. Okay, well, the Kawartha store has been there eight years and we're just having our eighth anniversary. And it's a large store uh, in the downtown of Fenland Falls, a beautiful Fenland Falls. And um, we're two buildings. And what we have is because when you're in a small town, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of a, a general store in that it's got a ton of everything. We've got uh, tons of women's clothes. Our focus is Canadian made. So we try as much as possible to highlight Canadian designers, but in particular ones that are manufacturing right in Canada. And uh, so a lot of in women's wear, we have tons of um, clothing, um, accessories, jewelry. Uh, and then we have a really large, it's expanded, a really large men's section. Um, and again, clothing, um, not as many shoes for men, but we got a lot of good summer shoes and flip flops and stuff like that for men, but not like a huge, huge variety. Um, and, um, and then one of the things, then we have a lot of gift wear. And um, one of our most popular items is uh, we have a giant, we have two giant sock walls. One side is for men, one side is for women. Um, and there we have some hilarious socks that, um, socks are kind of the new gift, the new tie for men, you know, you get them socks because no men wear ties anymore. So we've got some really, really funny socks and some great socks too, some great quality, you know, merino wool and, you know, really beautiful socks. And, and but our, our hilarious socks are definitely one of our top sellers. And then a lot of, a lot of gift wear too, and kids a bit at some kids and like tie stuffies, all the kids love that stuff. So it's a big store. It's about 5,000 square feet, two buildings. Um, I have a, we're kind of a tourist attraction in that we have a brook that runs through our building under one of our buildings. We have a glass floor. So people come in and look down through the glass floor to see how high the brook is running. It's kind of exciting in fall. Uh, sorry, sorry, not in fall, in the spring when it's melting. Um, it's, um, it really rushes through. So it's kind of fun to watch. So that's kind of us. What we focus on Canadian made. Um, you know, we're, we're really great at, well, we're small town, so we're really great at customer service and um, we've got something for everybody. I love that. Uh, I love that there's a huge emphasis on buying Canadian made products and selling them. So that's really great. Mm -hmm. Kudos to you. Um, why don't you tell me about like how you've personally been coping with COVID-19? Uh, you know, our, our hashtag for this whole program is we're in this together. Um, you know, so how have you been managing things and how do you plan when this is all over to reopen and adapt to the new normal? Um, well, luckily my staff, my staff is, uh, has been laid off, um, which is, which is really sad. Um, luckily my staff are, um, all professional retired women. Um, so we're all at home and we text each other each day and go, how you doing? How you doing? Um, so that is, that is tough because it's kind of, this shop is also kind of our social network, you know, like, um, basically I've got the most amazing staff because none of them really absolutely had to have a job. They all just wanted to work there. <laughs> and uh, and I, they're all people, you know, I really liked. And I was like, come join me, you know, we got to do this. So it's really, it's kind of my, my extended family and we're not together right now. So that's really tough. Um, but we're all anxious to get back at it. And in terms of the social distancing, we're a big store. Like I was saying, we're like 5,000 square feet and, um, two buildings and we've got big change rooms and and um that part when we're allowed to be open we can um you know we've already figured out how we're gonna like you know you know sanitize everybody's hands before they come through the door and this and that but it's a large space like you could have i mean it's not the size of a grocery store but it's big you know so people could easily do tons of shopping and look around 
and with a few people in at a time, I could see, you know, I mean, we're not allowed to, but we could easily be running today and keep people far apart because we're not a, we're not a little, little boutique, you know, we're a, we're a big, we're a big, big building, you know? Um, so yeah, we're ready for it. In the meantime, what we're doing, um, we're working on a new online store. We do have an online store, the Corthus, um, www.thecorthestore.com, uh, but there will be a new one launching and we're just, it's already, um, we're just waiting for one more piece of hardware to arrive before we can uh, do this launch. And uh, we've got a cool new little hat. It's just more modern than, that, than our old website. Um, and uh, we'll be launching a new one. So we're pretty excited about that. Wish it had already happened, but um, there's been a couple of little delays in, um, in shipping. So that's what, that's what we're doing. I'm still staying busy, but um, you know, just staying in contact with, uh, with my staff, miss my customers, yep. Yeah, and uh, obviously you're on the Fansaves Helps gift certificate program, so people can go to fansaveshelps.ca and they can purchase gift certificates to the Kawartha store. So when this is all over, they can come in to support you. So what would you say to your, uh, your current customers, if you could give them a shout out right now, and like, what would you say to potential customers that might want to buy a gift certificate to your business? Yeah. Well, to potential customers, if you've never been to the Kawartha store, you really would be quite amazed how large we are. So you could, you know, if you wanted to give a Mother's Day gift, um, you could, or any gift, or just to buy it for future shopping. Um, we have such a variety of things, like we can always make somebody happy, you know, like, because we are, we are a large store. Um, so men, women, everybody. So there always is something for everybody there. So you'd never, you'd never feel like, you know, you hadn't, you bought, you bought a gift certificate and then going, what am I going to buy? Like, you'd be like, oh my goodness, I've got too many things to spend it on. To, uh, my current customers, um, it's, well, first I'd like to do a shout out to, uh, Lynn Manning, she was the first one to purchase a uh, ticket. She's a uh, gift certificate, and she's also the one that brought um, uh, the gift certificate program. She's part of economic development, and she brought the uh, program forward to the Chamber of Commerce and said, let's do this. And, um, and then uh, our uh, admin assistant, um, Marilee Boston, she like got on it right away and said, who wants to do this? And uh, of course I jumped on board and said, yes. And thank you to the gift certificate program. Cause people like, I don't think people really know a lot. This program takes very, like the admin charge is so little, like basically it's almost nothing. So the retailer gets all the money if somebody buys a gift certificate. And that's really amazing. Uh, people don't realize, like, I kind of laugh at the because I've been offered to jump on with a couple of radio stations. And um, in the end, you're not even getting 25%. So um, you're kind of like going, whoa, you know, yeah, I guess you'd say my name on the radio, but I'd be losing money with every program. So um, yeah. I would like to, and I'd also like to say to the people, like Lynn bought the first one and you know, it wasn't just, just, you know, getting that gift certificate, that cash, when you need cash, when you have no sales, it was really an emotional thing, you know, like it was like, wow, you know, you don't feel like you're alone anymore. Like you, people still remember you got your little store. Um, it, it every, everyone that comes in actually is a, um, is a huge boost to morale um like i get so excited about it like um and it's it is it is the money to get some money in like sort of i've gotten enough to pay my hydro bill um so that's important when you're making nothing but yeah. the morale boost from uh, having somebody buy one is tremendous so i really appreciate that and and i think it's a tremendous program that's so great. And uh, just in wrapping up, like where can someone go to find out more about the core of the store? Well, we, yeah, we do have our, we have our website and boy, we are on, uh, you can follow, I'm posting pictures every day, uh, the core of the store on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter. 
Um, you know, I throw pictures on Pinterest. Basically, if you put the Kawartha story and we pop up all over <laughs> the place. But um, the gift certificate program, um, you know, we, and we've got our email. Um, so yeah, and our new website, the old website's there and it's got a ton of fabulous stuff. The new one with any luck will launch by Friday. Um, I've been saying that for about three weeks now, but, <laughs> but hopefully this Friday is the week it does launch. If I get that one little piece of hardware coming through the door, I'm ready to go. So yeah, the course is store.ca or .com. Yeah, both work. That's fantastic. Trish, I want to thank you so much for taking the time to tell me more about the Kawartha store and your business. And to all the listeners out there, remember to stay home, stay healthy, and shop local.